actually very durable. That's why it's so problematic if you, if, if you regard them as a waste and leave it in the environment with untreated. And what we're trying to do is to optimize and maximize the usage of waste plastics by turning it into a valuable product, such as railway sleepers. So with appropriate uh, formulation, the plastic can be made to withstand fire resistance, withstand high temperatures, and it can be UV oxidation resistance as well. We don't only think about how much the product is, so we need to consider the whole life cycle of the product. So the plastic sleepers can be recycled at the end of its life. And it also has significant lower carbon footprint compared with the concrete sleepers and steel sleepers. In terms of the installation procedure, uh, the plastic sleepers is equivalent to the timber sleepers. And also we are trying to incorporate in the casting shoulders into the plastic sleepers. So the installation procedure is improved. The plastic sleepers, when you compare with the timber sleepers, is actually more durable. So for the current quality of timber and the typical uh, operation environment, the timber sleeper you need to replace every 20 years, but plastic sleeper is designed for 50 years service life, which is equivalent to steel sleepers and concrete sleepers.